Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a laser scan into a point cloud. This could be useful for you in case that you would like to have several laser scans that add one to another so to, they can create a 3D representation of an environment by using only a laser scan with a motor. Okay, for today it's only very very simple example about how to convert a laser scan into a point cloud. In further um, videos, I will show you how to add different laser scans into a single point cloud. So let's start today with this, and I'm going to show you this by using the ROS Development Studio here that you can access anytime by visiting RDS, RDS, the construct scene.com. Okay. Once you log in, you will reach one page like this one, where there are several simulations available. And today, for this example, I'm going to use the Kabuki simulation because it contains a laser. Basically, you can use any other simulation around here to do the same thing. Okay, let's go. Press this button and then select the main launch file and press Run. Now, while the simulation it's opening and the development environment is being shown so here we have the whole environment here we have some information about the kabuki robot with examples how to use it for, to program it with ROS using python uh, we don't need this today so i'm going to hide it what we do need is here the ide and the simulation and uh, of course the console now, what we are going to do first is I'm going to create a package in order to put there the code that we are going to use for converting lasers into point clouds. So let's go, our city, then here, source. I need to go to the source directory, and here I need to create a package that I'm going to call, for example, laser to PC. This package will depend on ROSPy because I'm going to do this example using Python. ROSPy it also needs to uh, de depend into um, sensor messages. Sensor messages, and then I also need to, uh, to depend on a special package that is called laser geometry this is a package provided by ROS I will add this link to this package beneath the notes of the video but this is the package that is basically going to provide how to do this conversion between lasers uh, laser scan messages into point cloud messages in this page you can see an example also about how to do it using C++ there is no Python example and this is the thing that we are going to learn how to do this in Python. Great, so laser messages and um, it's called laser geometry. Sensor messages, yes. Okay, so yeah, so far so good, should appear here. Here it is, our package. Now, inside the source, I'm going to create a new file that I'm going to call is our Python file that we contain the code laser to pc.py. Okay, great. And here is where we are going to write the code that subscribes to the laser and then publishes in another topic. But instead of publishing a laser message, it will publish a point cloud message. Okay, I have created the code here. So I have already here, and then I'm going to copy and paste as we move. Okay, the first thing is um, we need to include this line in order to indicate the system that this is a Python um, script. Then we have to import some, um, some libraries. Let's see which ones are. First one, from sensor messages, we need to import point cloud 2. It's the message that we are going to publish. From sensor messages, we are going to import the laser scan. Is the message that we are going to read. And then from the package laser geometry, we are going to import this class that is the one that will provide us the conversion between laser and point cloud. 
Great. So we have the imports here. Now, well, we are going to create a class that performs the whole conversion. We call it laser to PC, for example. And then in the um, constructor, we are creating a, a class that is called laser projector. That is the one that will create the conversion between the laser into the point cloud. This is the class that we have imported here from laser geometry. Great. Now, we need to, uh, first, let's add this. Uh, we need to subscribe to the laser. Uh, in this case, I know that the topic of the laser is Kobuki laser scan. How do I know? Because I do a ROS topic list, and then I will get some here. It is ROS topic info of Kobuki. And then we see it's a laser scan. Great, so we have subscribed to it. Uh, we provide a class and of course we provide the callback. That is called self laser callback. And this is our callback that is here, stated here as a member of a class. And what does it do this? Okay, we'll see in, in a minute. So this is the subscription to the laser scan. And then we have to create a publisher, of course. It's the publisher that will publish the lasers into point cloud messages. And this is our publisher. We call it laser point cloud, for example. And we provide a class of message that we are going to, to publish. It's the one that we have imported here from sensor messages. Great. So we have the subscriber and the publisher. Now, the only thing that remains is to uh, talk about the callback. This callback is getting activated every time that somebody, that the simulation, I mean, um, it's publishing a scan, a laser scan in this topic. So this laser scan message will arrive here. And then the only thing that we have to do is to call to this function called project laser. This project laser is provided by the by the package laser geometry and is a function of laser projection class. So if you remember here, we have created an instance of laser projection that is called laser pro. So we call here laser proj and then we call this project laser function that it contains and we provide the data. The data is the laser message. The result will be stored here. It's a point cloud too. It's a point cloud. So we already have it. As simple as this. Yes. Then once we have converted this into this, next thing is to publish. For that we take the publisher that we created here as a member of the class and we publish. That's all. We got it. Okay, great. Now we have to finish the program, of course. And for this, we have to create the main part of a program that contains the initialization of the node. And then we create an instance of our class, that is this one. So the publisher and the subscriber and the callback, everything gets started. And then we finish with a ROS spin. So the program will stay there forever and ever. Okay, we got it. So let's save it, and since I have saved it already, now I can run it. So let's do a ROS run. The package is laser to PC, and the, and the file is laser to PC.py. Great. So there it is running. We haven't put any message, so we hope that everything is okay. So in order to test it, let me just open a new shell so we can do some, some tests. Here it is. We open a new shell. Let's do a ROS topic list and see if our topic is there somewhere. Here it is. Okay. So far so good. Let's do, let's see if it is publishing. ROS topic echo, only one, only one, one message. And let's see if it is publishing. Okay, looks good. Let's, it's publishing a point cloud message. And 
yeah, with a lot of information in there. Uh, yeah, we can check that the topic information it's really publishing a point cloud, but as you see, have seen there is a is a point cloud. But here we we have for sure, so it's a point cloud too. Yeah, great. But now let's see on Arby's if this is correct or not. So I'm going to launch. Uh, sorry, Ross run Arby's Arby's. And let's see on Arby's, how is it looking? Of course, it's going to look like a, uh, like a, point, like a laser, but actually it's representing a point cloud. It's looking like a laser because it's only including one single laser scan, that's why. Okay, we launched the Arby's, but then in order to see the screen of Arby's in the ROS development studio, we need to open a new tab here. So we go back to the development environment and we press this icon here open the ROS graphic tools a new tab will appear and then Arby's should appear here okay great let's add now a point cloud and select the message of the point cloud here it is okay and let's say to the point cloud that the topic is our topic, the one that we have created in our program. This is point cloud. Great. So we have it. Now let's see if it is publishing anything. Let me go back from the robot. And then we should see the laser scan around here. Here it is. Okay, so this is the laser scan of the robot that is converted into a point cloud. Uh, what is detecting? Well, it's detecting, if we come here to the simulation, let me put it bigger, is the, you, you can see, is the robot detecting that wall. That is what is uh, detecting the point cloud. Okay, so that's all. Great, so I hope that this was, uh, it's, it was enough interesting and that you understand the whole things. I'm going to put some links beneath uh, so you can follow them and then get more information about this uh, laser geometry package and of course about the ROS development studio that you can use to develop your own ROS programs without having to install anything on your computer and you will have everything online with simulations already working, etc., etc. Thank you for watching. See you.